Hello everybody, Joe Bagdones here, and welcome back for another episode of Muvla Photon Melodies. I uh, don't know which uh, route we're going to be doing, because we haven't spun the wheel yet, so let's do that, if I can get it onto this page. Uh, do 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 who's it going to be? I'm, uh, I'm a little tired right now. I just woke up, like, literally uh, 15 minutes ago, so... You got, you got my nice, deep, bassy, groggy voice with a little bit of scratch to it because I sleep with my mouth open like a some kind of fucking moron. Anyway, Makoto has won the bet. Luckier. Again, another character, which it, I'm not even sure if there's that many, like, possible scenes with her. Uh, English, please. Set that to auto skip while I get my guides open because I can't be trusted to think and do things by myself. Ooh. Oh man, it's it's been a weird past couple of days. Uh, extremely uh, busy at work. Uh, not not for the reasons you would think either. Uh, and weirdly warm. It was like 80 degrees yesterday. Uh, Fahrenheit, of course. Uh, if it was 80 degrees Celsius, I'd be dead. Uh, but no. The normal temperature for this time of year is, like, 40, like, mid-30s. So, I, I had a rough time sleeping yesterday because of that. Which is why I didn't record. And now you're stuck with, uh, with tired, groggy brain me, who has to drink a can of coffee. Very nice opening. Go watch it on your own. Uh, because I can't feel that much dead air by myself. Uh, but to fill this dead air, what, what, what have I done? Uh, it'll work. Oh, yeah, here, here's, a, here's a fun thing. Um, I have over 100 days of leave saved up, and, you know, unless they have really good reason, they can't deny it, so, uh, I'm probably gonna take, like, 100 days off, like, starting, like, next month. I just have to get all my training done first. Some of them, they, they're like scheduled classes, which uh, I need to talk with leadership to get that, you know, in, in the books. But once that's all taken care of, like, like, end of April, like, through all of July, I'll have off, which is wicked. I'm not sure how that'll work, though, because uh, my contract ends in June, and I still haven't re-enlisted because I'm a lazy bones, and uh, that's a lot of paperwork and, like, going to appointments during the day, during the week, which is my time off. So, who, who knows if that'll ever get done? Uh, I plan on re-enlisting, uh, mainly because I have no job prospects lined up, and uh, having to pay for my own dental, medical, uh, no longer having a food and housing stipend. Uh, yeah, that kind of uh, makes things a little, a little tough, and I don't feel like crawling back to my parents' place, mainly because they moved out of our out of our childhood place. Uh, they sold that to my sister and her family, so now they're up in like the quote unquote summer home in Vermont. Which, uh, uh, you know, there's there's not there's not too much around there. there there's a golf course and uh, f fucking Quebecois, which uh, you know, not not much. Uh, don't don't really uh, want to be around there. You know, it's good in the summer when you need some a nice quiet place to go to like just to chill, but just. Being being that the uh, the you know base of operations would be a little a little much for me at the moment. Maybe when I'm old, because they they told me I'm getting in the will. So haha. Good thing I golf. Uh, but for for right now, you know, young twenties me, uh, the countryside of Vermont is a little, a little little too much out there. If only I still had all that fucking family money from uh, over 100 years ago before we all lost in the Great Depression. That'd be great. You know, and with the upcoming water wars eventually in like the next 100 years, uh, hypothetically, uh, you know, having having a large stake in a water company would be uh, quite advantageous uh, for social standing. But, no, probably, probably not going to happen. What else have I been doing? Uh, oh, I 
keep I keep wanting to play Elden Ring. It's just with work and being being a lazy piece of shit who sleeps in throughout the entire day. I haven't really had much chance to. I've really only uh, played around, uh, pretty much cleaned up Limgrave. Pretty much done everything there. Uh, working my way through the castle right now. Beat the first boss. Now I'm just fucking doing do 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 inside, dealing with all that bullshit. Man, that fucking that place is dog shit. Uh, oh god, I'm running out of things to talk about. Someone, someone, someone help me! Uh, because I've completely run out of things to talk about, uh, I'll just cut ahead to when there's stuff to talk about, so see you guys then. Alright, uh, now for a quick little scene of picking out which game we want. Uh, which one is Makoto's, uh... Uh... It's... It's, it's not showing on here, on this old-ass ancient guide. Uh, probably... Probably a weird translation. Uh, it's saying... Inner Gear Chobit, which is the Metal Gear one. So, Rebel Gear Squalid. Alright, uh, I think I'll go with this one. Rebel Gear Squalid, Game Guy Edition. Nice. One? Uh, one what? In, like a bro way, you kiss the homies goodnight. I. Whoa! Wh what the hell, dude? Oh, is that all? Uh, how is that a win, though? Wouldn't have to eat any more cake, I'm assuming. Yeah, I had a feeling you guys were just choking it down out of obligation. What? Well, because then the winner would be free from the from uh, cake purgatory, right? Pardon? Wait, you guys are gonna eat even more cake? Uh, you're even bigger pigs than I thought. Well, yeah. No, this can't be right. I must have laced the cake with drugs or something. These girls all have the munchies. God, there's like fucking three brain cells among all of them, and all three of them belong to Cosme. Oh, I see. Sumika and Cosme didn't buy games, so they weren't part of the bet. So you koto. Sheesh. It's like you guys have black holes for stomachs. Which would mean all that half-digested cake gets spat out somewhere else in the universe. Ugh. Uh, okay. That'd be a wormhole, my guy. Black holes just kind of condense matter. In, in theory. Uh, from the science we understand. Wouldn't it be a good thing for you, I don't want to be responsible for you guys having to call and stick tomorrow. New wallpaper, let's go. Getting even closer to that 100% completion. Uh, which... There's there's some, uh, like... I don't, I don't want to say weird achievements, but like... Have to go certain routes on the island to get certain things, yada yada yada. Uh, not sure if those will all be, uh... Uh, who am I sitting next to? Makoto and Miki. Uh, not sure if those are. We'll get them all just by going down the routes, but if they're not, uh, I don't know if I'll include those in a separate video because it doesn't really seem like much to do. But uh, if there's a lot of it, then maybe. Okay, let's just go with the least risky approach here. Watch out, guys! Coming through. So, you guys excited for to uh, see some hot springs or what? Well, we're about to crush your dreams. Sorry, friendo, but that dream's gonna have to wait. Wait, seriously? Are you gonna be okay, dude? I don't want you fainting on us later. Excuse me? 
Tama, you you fucking taking shots before bed? You weigh like 50 pounds. Oh yeah? <laughs> ha! I knew no one would bat an eye at me sitting between these two. And we'll be, uh, we'll be, we'll be skipping forward again, because it's, I don't know if we'll even get any Makoto stuff at the mountain. Unless, unless we will. I don't know. Are we? Doesn't look like it. So, we'll be skipping forward to some island stuff, probably. So, see you guys whenever, or if there's another scene that pops up that needs to be recorded, we'll do it then. So, yeah. All right, and five minutes of just watching Auto Skip uh, do its thing. We are finally here. Where we'll actually get some goddamn scenes. Uh, so yeah, these these videos are probably going to be getting shorter and shorter just because you know we're completely running out of content uh, that isn't particularly for each girl. So honestly, this might just be just a, either a fucking wham bam one and done, or just like maybe maybe two depending on the length because it's. I mean, I've only been recording for like 15 minutes, you know, uh, looking at my sheet here, cut out about five minutes of those for skipped stuff that you guys won't see in the video. So hypothetically, you know, one video, you know, maybe pushing it close to like two hours. Yeah, we can we could probably get this done like fucking right now. Sup, guys. That's a. Uh, Really, I like that shirt on Makoto. It's good. I think it. I think it's a contrast between the orange and like the shade of hair, or her her blue shade of hair and her eyes. It just works. So why was your door hanging wide open, huh? That's dangerous. Yeah, the fucking wind will catch you and you'll bend the the hinges. Yeah, but that doesn't mean you can just whatever. Okay, you got me there. Or unless they're talking about like security reason stuff. It's easy to forget because of how rustic it all feels, but this place is a highly controlled tourist trap constructed by a massive conglomerate. Come to think of it, these stores probably don't even need auto locking features to begin with. This place is already super safe. Yeah, it's not a like Cancun where if you fucking leave the resort, you get kidnapped. Is it just me, or did you just actually make a good point? Yep. Who on earth would say Japan is a dangerous place? I mean, maybe if you're talking about, like, natural disasters, because, you know... Uh, fucking monsoon season, uh, volcanic island chain... So, uh, earthquakes, uh, island, uh, you know, add-on tsunamis to those earthquakes. Not, not really fires because uh, of how wet Japan is, you know, because it said monsoon season, but, you know. Yeah, you might be right. And it's not like these kinds of top tropical resorts are frequented by only Japanese patrons. I mean, there's, there's a good Japanese population in Hawaii. I imagine... I actually don't know about, like, Guam and stuff. I'd have to have to look into that. I was about to say probably Guam, too, but... Maybe? Well, okay. Just be careful not to let the sand get blown in all over your stuff. Oh, I was just wandering around. I thought I'd check in on you guys. See what's up. Yeah, or rather, I don't really see the point in moving all my clothes into the drawers when I'm only going to be here for two days. Yep, living out of a suitcase. Just like I am. Not sure why anyone feels the need to do that. It's a pain in the ass. <clears throat> you would have a bug out bag. <clears throat> I 
<clears throat> oh god. Oh, that morning gunk is working its way out of my system. Well, regardless of your reasoning, I do appreciate you agreeing with me. <laughs> but what's there to be paranoid about? This place is about as safe as it gets. I definitely think Makoto's dad could get through the Mitsuru's security. Easy. He'd fucking, like, free dive in off the coast. Yikes. That's depressing. So, have you guys decided what you're going to do for the rest of the morning? Oh, hell yeah. What for? You've lost me. Okay, okay. Not sure what exactly you're suggesting we do, but I'm, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and say no right now. I don't mind getting in touch with nature, but I'm not about to go full wilderness survival here. Is it, uh, is this something that's just a habit for you too? Do you just have this innate urge to go hunting for wild game whenever the opportunity presents itself? <laughs> Gonna be real, I kinda, kinda missed hanging out with Makoto. She's just got those vibes, you know, we click. Because if I do take a hundred days off, uh, you fucking bet your ass I'm gonna book it into the mountains to do like a couple weeks of camping. Not not all back to back, because fucking lugging in uh, several weeks worth of supplies would be a fucking bitch. Especially, well, I do have a fishing license, so I could like you know fish for sustenance to supplement my diet of whatever stuff I bring in, but, uh, no. No, 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 no. I like, I like to cap it at, like, four or five days. Because after that, you just start getting smelly. Alright, you guys have fun, then. Peace. And we're gonna be seeing them right again anyway, so, not like, not like anything actually happened. Damn, now this is a beach. Ah, just look at all these people. That's the worst part, my guy. I know they said it wasn't open to the public just yet. But can these really all be VIPs and friends of the Mitsuri Financial Group? They could be, you know, the, the workers on their off time and their families, but... Hmm, when you think about it like that, it's kind of like we're surrounded by celebrities here. I wonder how many other middle-class folk there are aside from us. None, probably. Hmm? I swear, I recognize those girls from somewhere. Bruh, fucking high say coming at us with the romper. Okay. Oh, they're coming this way. Wait a minute. It can't be. Also, with the hoops, you fucking go into the disco, girl? What's up? What the hell are you doing here? See, that's that's another good part about just waking up, is my throat is able to do those woos really easily, without getting all scratchy. Wait, uh, huh? Yes, Suzumiya Major. Gotcha. Oh, uh, hi. I'm Shirogane Takaru. Wait. Susan Mia? Oh, I got hit with plenty of them, sister. That shit hurt like hell, you know. Oh, fuck off. Oh, well, I just heard Susan Mia, so I was like. Yeah. So, um, you're her older sister then, I take it? Not really. 
At least not in this route. Oh, no. Wow. Talk about two siblings who couldn't be more different. The younger Suzumiya seems a lot more aggressive. Uh, not that I know her that well. Friendly acquaintance, I would say. I wouldn't really say we're friends with... With Akane. Huh? Sorry? Yes. Yeah, she really is. Hell, if anything, Akane's personality seems close to yours, Haisei Senpai. <laughs> Bad influence. Eh? Oh yeah, they're both summers, I forgot. I didn't forget, I knew that, it just... The, the synapses, the, the neurons in my brain didn't connect. Wait, so then... How you say, Senpai? Does this mean you're... Super salty that she's way she's a way better swimmer than you. Well, like, Suzumi is practically at an Olympic qualifier level. Surely you must know how good she is if you two are such good friends. No, and I don't really care. Sorry. Sorry. I don't follow swimming all that much. Yeah, individual, uh... <sighs> Alright. So, swimming is a sport. But it's not a team sport. Team sports are generally more interesting and fun to watch. Like, even, even if you don't know what's going on, if you go to a fucking hockey game, odds are you're gonna have a good time. You know, watching hockey on TV is one thing, but fucking going to a stadium and fucking the vibe, the atmosphere of the rink, it's it's a it's a different world, man. But if you just like go to watch like a swimming tournament in person, you'll be like, yeah, oh fuck, they swam real fast, and that'll be that. You know, there's there's not much incentive to you know keep tabs on it unless you're personally invested in it. Oops, didn't mean to cut you off. Sorry about that, Harka. My, my sweet cinnamon bun. What? I guess, theoretically, we've never been there, I don't think. Huh? Well, yeah, of course. Right, I'm pretty sure she's told me that before. And I've definitely heard that she was a pretty prolific swimmer herself back in the day. Hmm. Yes. Well, it's just that you're nothing like the person I've always pictured from those stories. Like, you took all that respect I had for you and smashed into a million tiny pieces. I mean, it's better than talking smack behind your back. And Bub, what are you, fucking Wolverine? Well, you know, I was at least expecting someone with a little more grace. A girl whose luscious long hair cascades out as she pulls off her swim cap and all that jazz. Uh, I don't know. Well, honestly, if you want to be a good swimmer, you gotta be built like a fucking sloth. That's why, uh, fucking what's his nuts? Uh, yeah, it's too early in the morning, but you know, there are USA, big, big, big boy Olympic gold medalist who fucking crushes all of it. Uh, he actually has, like, a genetic condition, which makes his arms, like, disproportionately long and, like, his tendons, like, extra flexible in, like, his ankles. So he, so it's like he's wearing fucking flippers, and his arms are can fucking push a lot more water. I 
Guess you've got a point. Uh, don't don't be mentioning other protagonists that we don't know. Shh, 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 shh. Uh, Hey, don't take old grudges out of me, dude. ああ、ああ。とにかく高い木から参る動作を半分ぐらい抜き取ったらこいつになるわ。ウェイ、ワイ。ウェイ、ウェイ。ウェイ、ウェイ。ウェイ、ウェイ。ウェイ、ウェイ
brain's, I guess, instinct to be able to squirm her way out. Yeah, the Mitsurugi twins? They're basically my house guests for the time being. Though, they don't pay rent. But they pay for literally everything else we do, so it sort of evens out, I guess. It's fine. It's a it's a complicated situation. Probably not legal at all, but... Oh, it's pretty simple, really. I have uh, two complete nut jobs for roommates. The end. I mean, I know they bought out all the neighbors, like, completely legitimately. But I'm not sure how, like, it works with, like, city zoning laws to bulldoze and, like, turn, uh, fucking several blocks into just, like, concrete field. Like, like, yeah, what does that do to the zoning? God, that must be a fucking nightmare for the people at City Hall. Unfortunately, yes. That's what I call, I'd say. I was planning to do the same. There's a bit more to it than that, but it's kind of hard to explain. Mm-hmm. Roll with the punches. Uh, we're being fucking broody and not, not quite sulking, but just kind of like being a loner and wandering around by herself. Would you stop with the harem thing? I'm just trying to wander around and uh, have myself a little adventure, dude. The real question is, what are you two doing? I mean, the ocean's right there, I say, senpai. You really don't feel the urge to jump in and have a swim? Yeah. Well, it's not really any of our business. Oh, uh, oh, my bad. So why can't you? And here I was trying to be considerate. I just figured, oh, maybe she's not as good as she once was because of something traumatic that happened, and now she won't even set foot in the water. Uh, set foot in water more than six. Bu -bu -bu -bu. Oh, oh, that last uh, part of that sentence. Now she won't even set foot in more than six inches of water. There we go. Huh? Stop repeating yourself. So, why can't you? Okay, you're the person who eats the cherry last on, like, a sundae, or, uh, fucking the strawberry last off a shortcake. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Sure, don't, don't worry about it. So, you like doing all sorts of zany stuff, eh, Haisei Senpai? Well, uh, I think I'm gonna head out. Good luck with her, Suzumiya Senpai. Away from you. They say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, but I wonder if that applies to students and teachers too. I guess I could definitely say a little hint to Yuko Sensei in her. But wait, would that make Suzumiya Senpai her Marimo chan? And then there's her little sister, Akane. She idolizes Haisei Senpai like no other. Is she gonna turn into a little Yuko Sensei someday too? Horrifying. God help us. Uh... Oh, to do to do. Uh, oh, I have to go to the Steam Guide now because that's the one that's actually for this version of the game. The other one's for the original Altered Fable, so the choices are a little weird. Uh, what? Hello? Well, this isn't much help. I guess there's just. Oh, 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 that was my jaw. Let's see, we did, we did Makoko. Uh, who? Who? Makoko? 
Makoto's. Kabina, uh, oh god, oh god, the choices, the choices are laid out super wonky. Ah! Uh! No! Okay, here we go, here we go. Uh, maybe? Oh god, no, no, this guy, it's fucking, uh, it's, it's laid out for only the achievements. I guess we'll go to Vega Beach? There, there's no, there's no choice for Makoto, yeah? Yeah, th no, there's not. Okay. Unless, unless there is? I'm so confused. I'm so confused, dude. Hold on. No, okay. It looks like, looks like we just have to do whatever until we get to uh, the fourth, the fourth uh, option to pick an event. Uh, so, I guess we'll be going to, uh, Vega Beach? Sure, sure, man. Again. Well, hey, this is a pretty nice little spot on the exact same beach we were five minutes ago. Didn't really get a chance to appreciate it or appreciate it earlier, thanks to someone. Man, just look at this view. Crazy how different the ocean can look from the same exact beach, even just a little, little further down the coast. Shoreline down here is a lot more flat. Maybe that's why the waves come rolling in so much smoother, and the water is so much bluer. Man, it's so soothing. I could just sit out here and soak in the sun for hours. Oh God. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You know, this beach is plenty big enough for all three of us. Go find your own hangout spot. Man, I really don't want to run into these two again. Well, not that I have anything against Suzumiya Senpai. But the other one? Ugh. We don't hate you, Hayase Senpai. You're just abrasive. Oh, that'd be perfect. I'll just go check out all the other places on the island then. Because then I don't have to worry about bumping into you anywhere else. What? Oh, dude. No, do you even have eyes? Sorry, we're not picking up Hayase on the rebound. There's that name again, Takeyuki. Um, so is this Takeyuki guy, is he a friend of yours, or...? Gonna go ahead and assume more than a friend, but I'm not gonna say that out loud. Mm -hmm. Cool. Oh, that's cool. I mean, not really. Only only when it comes to class rep. What? Uh... Are me and this Takeyuki guy really that much alike? Yeah, protagonist vibes. That was much of a compliment, you know? Besides, that's not at all what you were saying last time. You called us, you called us both dumb. Sure, we'll we'll take that and run with it. Uh, if you say so. Is it? Not sure if that's uh, 
the kind of thing I want to excel at, honestly. Can I help you? Why should I? I think the chances of that happening are pretty slim. For how long? Oh, is that all? Alright, I could probably chill here for a little bit. Okay, fine. I'll give you a 10 minute head start. Oh, for sure. Yep, you're gonna jinx it. Ay ay ay. Well, guess I gotta kick it back here for a bit. Let me pull up OBS because uh, it dropped when I went behind uh, different screens. Uh, uh any except bridge. Okay. Uh, I guess swimsuit boutique. Hey, look, a little swimsuit boutique. Uh, are there really people who come to this resort who don't pack their own swimsuit? I don't understand if it was just a swimsuit section in the back of a standard souvenir shop. This is a whole dang swimsuit store. That's a lot of S's in there. Uh, words that I can totally read. Are these ones, like, special somehow? Let's take a look. At all these women's swimsuits? Wait, these are all women's swimsuits! The only men's suits they have are tucked away in a little corner. I wouldn't be caught dead wandering around a women's clothing store. Ugh, estrogen, gross. Yes, my masculinity is very fragile, I admit, but I don't care. Let's get let's let's, let's get out of here. Oh yeah. Oh God. Huh? <sighs> do, do I know you? We can't escape. We can't escape from them. Hmm? Um, sorry, have we met before? Wait, you mean the one at Hakuro Prep? What? Wait, you mean these two were among the alumni that Yuko Sensei brought in? Da da da, stuff we already know. そう、そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そ
it seems like her voice actress is talking really close to the mic compared to everyone else because she's a lot she's a lot louder in my ears man these two seem really close though they seem like polar opposites at first glance because like all her like hard consonants they go like and it's like ooh, ooh, not 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 a great ear feeling not literally, I hope? That car can fit three people? Mr.S.Santara, uh, what? <laughs> it's okay, I sleep naked too. Though, I suppose, you know, she didn't have clothes on for another reason, but let's... Let's pretend we... Let's pretend we don't know about that. What's that supposed to mean? Ah, oh, that's nuts, dude. Honestly, I prefer flying uh, on, on our military cargo jets now because it's just so nice to be able to get up and walk around like the entire cargo bay if it's if we have like nothing on there it's just all flat so it's like you got like more than like 20 feet wall to wall and like 100 feet to the back like if you, if you just want to spread out on the floor you can do that if your like legs are getting tired you can get up and walk around for a bit nice and like it, it's just so much nicer than flying commercial even if it's like military metal austere or if there's like a Humvee or Jeep in there, you can just sit in the passenger seat and chill in there. <laughs> yeah, they're some of the only people in the world who can outstage Yuko Sensei when it comes to utter pandemonium. And in terms of being over the top, it's not even a contest. Hello, Doomsday Siren! Yes, we are their keeper. Yeah, sorry about that. My little house guests can be a little heavy-handed sometimes. They only think Yuka since they planted the idea in their heads with some preachy bullshit. I don't know about that. At the very least, there's no way Yuhi and Maya weren't on board with the idea. Oh, but man, Yuka Sensei's a master at her craft. I can't believe she turned her, uh, she tuned her approach to each individual invitee. Well, not to downplay your trauma or anything, but you're here now, so you might as well make the most of it and have some fun, right? Just walking around being harassed. Oh, you know, just wandering around a little bit. Yep。寂しい男だな、お前は。それとも周りに女の子が多すぎて一人に絞れなくて困ってるのかな。No, I wouldn't say that. なんだ。人数分の水着でも買いに来たのか。この島でのすべてが無料だからといって。Just say I'm not here to buy a swimsuit for me. Wait, uh, what do you assume? Mm -hmm. No, look, just because this is a women's swimsuit store doesn't mean I'm here to buy swimsuits. Jeez. Could you please stop jumping to conclusions? Uh... Uh, 
Yeah, sure, man. I wasn't checking her out. God, what's this chick's deal? She's big, big gay. Big bisexual. No, dude, I wasn't... What the hell is wrong with this girl? Uh, Yuko Sensei definitely must have rubbed off on her back in the day. I appreciate the offer, but I gotta go get, like, lost with Makoto in the woods or something. Huh? Well, uh, it's certainly a tempting offer. Uh, I think we're good. Don't want to be a third wheel unless we're, uh, <laughs> unless we're riding a tricycle, you know what I mean. Well, uh, let's see here. Yeah. Huh? Yep, that's right, because we've already seen the scene before, but it's uh, it's at a different choice location, so it's considered a different scene. Huh? I mean... Yes, ma'am. Okay, guess I better get going. Pretty sure this place doesn't have a door, but okay. Yep, see you guys late. Yep. Something tells me it probably isn't a good idea to get between Mudokata Senpai and Kazuma Senpai. I mean, my Gator readings are going off the charts. In all, serious, in all seriousness, though, I can't shake the feeling that those two are more than just friends. It's possible they were just acting that way to mess with me, but I don't know. I mean, let's review everything we've learned. We know they were sleeping under the same roof when they got the call from Yuko-sensei in the middle of the night, and that Mudokata-senpai was naked beneath the sheets. Oh shit, I think I just lost my train of thought. Anyway, gotta go! Whew, okay, where to now? Man, I still can't believe Yuko-sensei would just invite all her friends to come along on someone else's dime. I wouldn't really say they're her friends. Just like they're in her sphere and get wrapped up in her bullshit. What's up, Makoto? Hmm? It looks like someone dropped a bathrobe or something on the ground. Whose is this? Oh, no. It's just a towel. Well, the window of that cabana is open. Maybe the wind picked it up and dropped it out here. Guess uh, I get to be a good Samaritan. Hey, anyone home? Man, don't leave your windows open if you're not even in the room. Uh. What's up, Makoto? How's it hanging? I'm sorry, didn't mean to, honest? No, you've got it all wrong. I really wasn't... Well, I feel like it'd be rude not to at this point. No, I'm not. Not even a little. Damn, you don't gotta call us out like that. T -t -t Turned on! Wait a minute, this is all one big misunderstanding. You gotta believe me! Oh, th my bad! Why the hell was she naked? I mean, her towel was on the ground outside and her window was open. What else was I supposed to do? 
Oh, she should have seen us coming, goddammit! Ah, then she goes and accuses me of getting turned on by her naked body. What the hell, man? Oh, I am a little surprised. That shriek she made at first was far more feminine than I would have expected from her. Wait, what the hell am I thinking? Ah, oh, get a grip, Taku. You gotta focus on the facts. Right. Uh, and another thing. You can't tell whether or not a person's turned on just from their pupils and perspiration levels, can you? Oh, there's no way in hell. Makoto's just weird, that's all. She gets these bizarre ideas in her head. Not like she even has an ounce of sex appeal to begin with. Okay. Yeah, um, I found this towel outside and assumed it was yours. Ah, gotcha. Awkward. <laughs> One instead of having to bathe in the ocean? Y yeah! Uh, way too hot for a bath down here. You can have a cold bath. Dude, why the hell are you spending your vacation grubbing around in the dirt? I mean, have you seen this place? <laughs> Probably for the best. R right. Well, lucky for you, the owners of this resort can afford the conveniences of a modern civilization. I mean, you can get a shower going with just like a fucking steel drum or fucking barrel and just like a hose with like a fucking funnel on the end to act as a shower head and then like a fucking nozzle or valve to, you know, turn it on and off. Wh what? Uh, I d don't know about that. No, I haven't looked at mine yet. Kind of just chucked my luggage onto the bed and went straight to into adventure mode. The washing machine looking things are washing machines? That's that's crazy, Makoto! Sorry, can you clarify something for me real quick? You started off by saying there was a washing machine looking thing in your bathroom, correct? So so. And the big reveal was that it was, in fact, a washing machine? So How was that surprising, exactly? I mean, what were you expecting? It's not like it was going to be a refrigerator or TV or an electric kettle. Though, a gigantic electric kettle with a big window that swirls the water around as it heats up would be pretty cool. What? Huh? What are you smiling about? How is that cool? And wait a minute. You're wearing the same clothes you were when we got here. How do you explain that? Do you just have multiple sets of the same outfit or what? Thank you for calling out the limited amount of character sprites. No, sorry, you're missing my point. What I'm asking is, how are you wearing a set of clothes that, according to you, disappeared in the washing machine? Did you go out and buy a new set on another island just now? That would make sense, at least, given that the Mitsurugis are paying for everything while we're here. Where? You're losing me. Funny, I was just about to ask the same, uh, ask you the same thing. I know uh, you're always like this, but dude, are you sure you're feeling all right? It's not your physical health that I'm worried about. It never has been. It's your mental health that continues to concern me. 
What service? You haven't said a word about anything like that since the moment I set foot in this room. Oh. Okay, now I'm with you, finally. Spooky. Interesting. Huh. Wicked. So that's what you're trying to tell me about? Yeah, that does sound like a nice perk. Guess she actually had something useful to convey for once. So we should learn how to get to the point sooner, though. Sure, whatever. Way to definitely ignore my point. I'm surprised you uh, told the washing machine yes, though. What if your clothes had never come back? Not that I doubt the legitimacy of any resort service, mind you, but I do doubt uh, Makoto's observation skills. Like, what if they had actually been a garbage chute and she just uh, mistaken it for a washing machine? I know I talked to her and said I'd be sending them to the cleaners and whatnot, uh, but still. Was she even lis uh was she not even the least bit concerned? Took a shower for 30 minutes? God damn. What are you a fucking fish? I'm sure. Birthday suit? Just thinking about your naked bod. Nothing, nothing weird. M my bad. I'm still listening. Sorry. Uh, so uh, you were saying something about a countdown timer? Just, just a little. N -n 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 not at all. I mean, you're not completely flat. You got stuff. It's there. I saw it. That's the part that bothers you? You're perfect just the way you are, Makoto. No, I'm good. I was trying to picture Makoto with ginormous tits for a second there. Well, anyway... I think I better get going. Huh? Uh, yeah, that's what I meant. Psych! Didn't even notice the time. Is Makoto the kind of person to use mosey? Maybe? I don't know. Uh, no, sorry. I gotta make a quick stop somewhere beforehand. Uh, alone. Give me, give me like ten minutes. Yeah, l later. Oh, there's no way I can walk side by side with her after what I just saw. No, sir. Ah, damn, dude. I gotta hurry up and purge my mem uh, purge that memory from my mind. Come on, brain. Forget it already. There's absolutely no reason for me to store that image in my mental hard drive. Or is there? God! No! Hey, brain. What do you think uh, they'll be serving for lunch over there, huh? Let's try to focus on that for now, shall we? Uh, sustenance. Uh, here we come. Zoom, 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 all the scenes we've seen before. Lunch, volleyball, shenanigans. Ha ha, oh, they're all roped into it. No escape for them. Yep, Cosme, that's right. You did try to tell us, but we didn't listen. Ah. Ba ba ba. I don't know. Let's, let's hang out with Mr. Walk and get, get some points for him. Uh, teachers.
now we can hang out with Makoto. Uh, uh, pull your weight. You bet we did. Oh yeah, Sukiyomi, don't you have like a thing for Makoto? Or is that only when she's dressed as a boy? I, I honestly don't know. That was a really weird scene that I still don't completely comprehend from Extra. Yeah, I knew we could do it. It's all thanks to me, of course. What? Um, why exactly? That's how Team B do anyway. For real? Sometimes it just be like that. Hey, no! No pessimism around. No pessimism allowed. There we go. I was going to say around here, but that, that uh, those words don't exist in the script. Uh, we just got to win two more rounds, right? It's as simple as that. <laughs> no, but there's, it's literally impossible for us to lose, so... Bit your ass we can. Ain't that right, Makoto? Yep, yep, go to your lessons. Uh, okay. Yep, Total Eclipse. Uh, maybe one day that'll get translated. It's supposed to drop this year at some point. Hmm? Oh, Suzumiya Senpai. I say Senpai. <sighs> what, I have a really bad feeling about this? Yeah, well, if you got beef, then I'm a vegetarian, and I ain't fucking scared of him. What the hell are you two doing here? Wait a minute. No way! You're our opponent in the finals? Ah, you've got to be kidding me, dude. Yep, no rule breaking here. We just go around them. Look, man, don't don't be getting in this nitty gritty, like attention to detail shit. Just take everything at face value and just leave it at that. So what? There's a hundred million on the line here, dude. Well, we do have like on and off. Uh, let's count how many people we have in our household. One, us. Maya, Yuhi, Sukiyomi. Three idiots. Uh, I'm gonna include Kazumi and Sumika as well. That's that's nine people we have at our household, like almost all the time. Uh, yeah, we need that toilet paper, my guy. Well, duh. I mean, if we can have fun while we're at it, then cool. But let's be real here. That hundred mil ain't nothing to sneeze at. Um, hello? Did I say something wrong? I mean, I bought like a 30 pack of like toilet paper like three years ago. And I still have like half that fucking pack left. Mind you, that's because I bought, like, the cheap, like, one-and-a-half ply, but uh, I'm not a fucking animal know how to wipe my ass without fingering myself, so it doesn't really matter what ply it is. Huh? Well, 
Wow, okay. Like you need revenge. You're the one who sniped me at point blank range, as I recall. Wait a sec. Are you sure that's a good idea, Sensei? Isn't winning the prize your top priority? Yeah, but she gets to see her students beefing, which means she gets something to enjoy out of it, so... Well, if you go around making promises like that... Huh? Well, no, I didn't say that, but... No, Sensei. Sometimes I wonder whose side you're really on. Alright, fine. I'll play in the game. In the damn game. But I still get to pick my own partner. Didn't sound very cool when I was stumbling over my own lines, but. I don't know. You gotta get, gotta put some skin in the game, dog. Oh? That's a pretty good split. Wait, are you serious? Same. We're totally gonna stop you guys. Uh, because it's impossible for us to lose. Now, if this was the original Alto Fable, Alto Fable? Altered Fable, we would have gotten our fucking asses kicked. Oh my god. That game gets exponentially harder as you go along. And even round one is a fucking horseshit. Hell yeah, Sensei! Our potential earnings just went way up, and all it took was me agreeing to play in the game. Wow! High risk, high reward! Economics finally makes sense to me now! Never go gambling. I'm gonna have to, I guess. I mean, what other choice do I have? Ah, don't worry about it. It'll all be fine. Just gotta win one more, uh, win one more round. You'll see. You got it, coach. Boop, boop, boop. Just that easy. Just gotta push a couple buttons. Yeah! <laughs> Betcha! Beatcha. Ha! Looks like revenge is mine today, ladies! Thank you for being a gracious loser, other Suzumiya. Told you I could do it, Sensei. I'm sure you did. Don't forget, though, you've still got to hold up your end of the bargain. Worth the toilet paper? Yes, yes, we've been here and done this dance like. Four times already. It's hard to it's hard to have things witty commentary when you've done this a bunch of times already, so deal with the silence. Oh yes, please, me first! Now now you two. That's not gonna trick us out of our that's not going to trick us out of our prize that easily. Words. Sentences. Uh, incoherent form. Non-existent. 
for me and you. あ、ばわ。えっと、このはい。なんか高く見積もって仮に1つ100円とすると1億円分ってことは100万個手に入ることになりますね。はあ。いくらなんでも床抜けますよね。うち古いし。それ以前にどうやっても入らないよ。Yeah, probably collapse my floors too. Up in my bedroom there's a couple places where I step I can feel like the floorboard like like bend and I'm like, mm, don't want to put all my weight there." Yep, yep. Oh, what wacky shenanigans. How silly. Yep, take us take us to the VR world. Strap me in, coach. Hey, who's there? Oh, hey Makoto. Yeah, Someone's feeling peppy tonight. Well, we just got blowed up. But not really. Dude, I've been saying I'm beat ever since before dinner time. Everyone is. Hmm? Oh, I'm fine. Nothing major. I'm not injured or anything. Uh, uh would she have totally forgotten that I was blown up if I hadn't mentioned dinner? Classified. Eh, happens to me every day. I was being sarcastic. Never mind. Well, enough about that. What have you been up to? Just, just a quick little trip up the mountain, yeah. What mountain? Oh, I think I know what you mean now. The one way off on the far side of, uh... Hip... Hipparchus? Let's go with that. Hipparchus Island, right? Isn't that way beyond the extent of the resort facilities, though? So, so. What the hell were you doing way out there? Wasn't it already pitch black out uh, after dinner? Are you allowed to do that? Like, animal traps? For what purpose? Ah, oh, come on, dude. You don't really need to keep up your survivalist lifestyle when you're on an all-expense... Uh, do you really need to keep up your survivalist lifestyle when you're on... When we're on an all-expense-paid vacation. Words. There we go. Actually, wait a minute. You went all the way out there and back, and you still made it home before me? Just, just completely ignored. You just want it. Uh, Makoto? Did I just discover a trick to holding uh, actual conversations with you? Just don't say anything, and she'll just keep going. Oh, nothing. At dawn? Oh, please tell me you're kidding. 
second thought, I don't think there's a trick to making sense of her. <sighs> she can't be serious, right? There's no way I'm letting her drag me along on a long-ass hike that early in the morning. Wait. I think about it. She has no way of actually getting in my room. She can just, like, climb up on your balcony. That'd be easy for her. I'll just pretend to be asleep if she actually comes to pick me up. I'm sure I can sleep through a little knocking. No sweat. That's ah, foolproof. Well, glad that's settled. Now, time to get some shut eye. Takeru? Takeru, the bar. Ah, I don't know. Eh, Takeru no nimotsu wa kore da ne. Fuku wa. You just gonna dress us and drag us out? Zubun wa kore de ii to shite. Shots wa. Yeah, if, if you're going bushwhacking in the jungle, you're going to want long sleeves and long pants. Even if it's fucking hot as shit. What the... Makoto? Is that you? Wait, Makoto! Huh? What are you doing here? Dad, get in my room! The doors have auto-locking mechanisms, don't they? So it gives! Yeah, she climbed in through your window. I thought the resort was supposed to have top-notch security systems. Yeah. What is a window but a smaller door? Pardon? Why? Why am I such an idiot? And here I was patting myself on the back for coming up with such a perfect plan. Ugh. Wish I could go back in time and slap myself in the face. Foolproof my ass. God, how did I not notice that the window was open before jumping into bed? I guess because I was really exhausted? Oh, man, fuck that. That's no excuse. Hmm? Oh, what's up, dude? You seem like uh, you're avoiding eye contact with me. Do I have snot on my face or something? Oh, weird. Why are my pants pulled down to my knees? Wait, that means she can see my underwear. Yeah! What the hell, man? How did my pants get pulled down this far in my sleep? More importantly, why am I wearing them to begin with? I mean, I don't remember wearing them to bed. Wait, D dude, did you just... You little shit! Yeah, yeah, the washing machine fucking tubes, I know, I know. Makoto, please! This isn't the time for your usual bullshit. You've got to learn to listen to people when they're angry. Oh god, thank you. What? You didn't give it a little honk. How does it keep getting worse? Right, sorry, I forgot who I was talking to. Please let me pull up my pants first. Yeah, hey, chill out, don't rush me. Oh, this is so not cool, dude. How did it even come to this? 
At dawn? Oh, please tell me you're kidding. Huh? Dude, I'm not going with you. Alright, unless I'm getting senile or something. I don't recall agreeing to this at all. I guess I just got swept up in the chaos that ensued after she broke into my cabana and let, herself, and let myself get dragged along. Maybe that was all part of Makoto's plan to begin with? <laughs> you think Makoto plans? The underwear shenanigans, I, I mean, uh, though, uh, huh? Who? Sentence? Let's start that over. The underwear shenanigans, I mean. Though I have to admit, when she gets all flustered like that, she's actually kind of... <laughs> Whoa, hold on! What the hell do you keep thinking, Brain? Besides, I was bound to forget it even happened before the end of the day. Mark my words. Come tomorrow, they'll be like, Hey, so about yesterday morning? And she'll be like, Huh? What about it? That's the least of my problems right now, though. God, my stomach is killing me! No, I haven't had... Uh, I haven't eaten anything. That's the problem. Did you eat breakfast before we left, or what? Obviously. You know, I'm not sure I like your tone. I just told you I'm starving, and st there's no need to rub it in my face. Especially when you're the one who rushed me out of bed, uh, rushed me out of the door before I could even grab a snack. Yeah. Yeah, we can agree on that, at least. Should have thought to lock my goddamn window. Gee, you know, I didn't really, have, didn't really have a chance before you came and dragged me out of bed. Ugh, great. All this talking is just making me more hungry. Gonna find some giant fucking grub. Huh? Hey, wait up! Is there something over here? Oh, lovely. Huh? Whoa! Look at this! Bananas, mangoes, pineapples, coconuts, papayas. What's this one called again? Lychee? Likey? Did we just stumble upon a treasure trove of tropical fruits? Holy shit! This is like finding a desert oasis to me right now. Didn't expect the Garden of Eden up here on this stupid mountain. Guess tropical paradises really do exist. Or am I hallucinating right now? If I try to reach out and grab one, will it all just vanish like a mirage? Oh, way ahead of you. Uh, actually, wait. You sure it's alright for us to just take some? Those trees might belong to someone, dude. Stealing produce from a farm or private garden is a crime, you know. Yeah, just don't get caught. What makes you so sure? Oh, fuck, didn't mean to skip that. Uh, permission to set some traps up here. They told me anything in the mountains. Fair game! Wait, you actually got permission first? I figured you just walked up here and did it on a whim. You sure you didn't just imagine this conversation? Or make it up on the fly just now so that I'd feel better about breaking the law? Maybe like a New York street rat that fucking eats pizza off the subway floor. I mean, that's kind of what you are, dude. Well, I guess I'll give you the benefit of the doubt this time. If, if only because I know I can't resist the temptation. Oh, the shit's going to my stomach right now. Oh yeah, get a nice sugar rush. Is that a fucking dragon fruit? Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about, baby! Like hell I don't come to come to Papa. I was gonna say papaya, but and whose fault is that? 
いつもこんな食べ物にありつければいいんだけどな I don't know how you found the spa, Makoto, but where'd it go? Oh god, it's so good! It's all so good! Wow, no kidding! Oh hey! What's that fruit over there? Huh? What the, What is it, Makoto? What's the big idea? Huh? What do you mean? What are we gonna have for lunch? Oh no. What do I have a really bad feeling about this? <laughs> no. Oh, please, no. Makoto, just so we're clear, I'm not about to eat any wild animals. No offense, but... Look, I know it might be closed-minded of me, okay? I get that. And yes, I realize it's extremely hypocritical of me to gobble down a sashimi like a madman, and but then gag any time I have to actually watch the fish get filleted. But we're not cavemen anymore. I'm a 21st century boy living in a modern, civilized society. So, unless I'm stranded in the wilderness and on the brink of... Hey, where'd she go? Just eat some gamey meat and be done with it. Huh. I guess she snuck off while I wasn't paying attention. Yep, don't want to get lost in the woods. Anything but that! Sure. Hmm? Wait, what do you mean, a bunch? We're not taking raw meat on the plane, dumbass. Just how many traps did you set anyway? Of what size? You're telling me you set up eight different traps all in one night? And yet you still managed to beat me home from the hospital? You hiked up a mountain in the middle of the night, set up eight traps out here in the jungle, and made it back to the cabanas within a matter of hours? For real? I'm slowly starting to suspect that you might not be human like the rest of us. It is nice. Hmm? Especially if you're like on the ocean, you get that nice sea breeze in so it's not uh, completely humid. Oh, yeah, I guess it does. I heard a lot of negative uh, ions are produced by places with a... What? Negative ions are produced in places with a lot of nature untouched by human hands. Sure, man, fucking whatever. Go fucking soak... Let your crystals soak up those ions or something. Uh, that's why... I f that's why it feels so rejuvenating. Or at least that's what they say on TV. They also said that uh, the number one place for negative ions is the common household in... What? In the common household is in the bathroom. What? Uh, not quite so refreshing when you think about it like that. Though I guess sitting on the toilet can be pretty relaxing. Maybe that's why dads love to just sit in there and read the newspaper. Nature's just one big toilet. Uh, don't worry about it. Not as much as you. Worry about yourself. What's up? Maybe it's just me, but I don't think you should ever hunt so much that it becomes routine. Obviously, for Makoto, these skills are the difference between life and death sometimes, but it's important to be able to set them aside and live a normal life when you don't absolutely need them, right? Like, the ultimate goal is to not have to use them, isn't it? God, I hope so. Ah, don't just pop out of nowhere like that. Yeah, snake might bite your dick, and you have to get the venom sucked out. Uh, don't run off ahead of me, then. And why are you saying you set a bunch of traps without even knowing your prey? 
because some animals can be a lot more dangerous when cornered. <laughs> yeah, all her traps are guaranteed to be 100% lethal. And one good reason why I shouldn't. Yeah? That's concerning. Sinkholes? Are you just trying to scare me now? Huh? Made by what? Yeah, the fucking chupacabra. D dude, seriously, s stop trying to freak me out. Huh? Uh, um, Makoto? Why are you holding my hands? What? What, like cryptids? What do you mean? Well, that's just blatantly false. We still, uh... We still don't know hardly anything about what lies at the bottom of the ocean. Wait, really? Come on, don't talk down to me. Pretty sure that's uh, mostly common knowledge. Yeah, kind of crazy. Oh. Alright, and I am back. Sorry about that little cut. Uh, don't know what that was about. My guts just completely inverted, and I will spare you the bloody, gory details. Uh, so I will have a can another can of coffee to make myself feel better and completely ignore all the bad stuff that just happens. Uh, it'll go away on its own. It always does. Fingers crossed, I hope. Lol. I'm totally not dying. You know, I, I only get occasional heart pains. I've been able to feel my kidneys lately. And, you know, that happens occasionally, but, eh. I've lived through worse. For real? Not sure I catch your drift. Okay, they're just tools. They can, uh, you know, do all the work. Uh, what? Gotcha. Now I'm following you. Yeah, they're uh, the type of people who always have to see uh, with their own eyes to be fully convinced. And some things you just never find until you go looking. But a lot of these places aren't exactly easy to get to, which is why so many of their mysteries remain unsolved. Is that what you're trying to say? You know, she's got a point. I don't know if it's just a unique perspective that researchers carry in their blood, but that curiosity is absolutely the key to solving a lot of life's greatest mysteries. Obviously, it sounds kind of ridiculous to claim that human uh, intuition is more valuable than empirical evidence, but just one of those things we know, uh... What? But it's just one of those things that we all know to be true. Even though that in itself is just our intuition speaking. <laughs> Oh, shit, dude. I'm actually getting kind of pretty, uh, pretty pumped up about this now. Uh, so tell me, are you always thinking about this sort of stuff when you go out on your adventures? Yeah, 
Yeah, I'll bet. Though, I'm kind of surprised. I thought you were a lot more opposed to his little adventures than you really are. I figured the way you always wistfully recount your journeys to us, like they're the fondest memories, was just a front, and you actually hated it in an awful lot. You actually hated it an awful lot deep down. It's one of those things where it's hell at the time, but then, you know, one, once you're out of this situation, you can look back at it, you know, it, it becomes a fond memory. I mean, both can be the real you. Humans are complicated like that. Uh, don't ask me, dude. And I mean, people are complicated, right? Doesn't necessarily have to be one or the other, I don't think. Look at me. Me and Taku are on the same wavelength. I don't know if that's a good thing or says anything good about me, but... Don't think too hard about it. But hey, on a different note... I've been meaning to point this out for a while now, but you're actually maintaining a normal conversation with me right now. Did you notice that? Something tells me you'll probably just say, this is how we always talk, though. So you actually are self-aware, then? Don't tell me your usual dizziness is just, uh, it's all just an act. There we go. Don't worry about it. Yeah, couldn't be. No, that always happens with you. So, clearly, you don't actually get it. The reason we both got invested was because you were actually speaking to me seriously for once. Well, maybe seriously isn't exactly the right word, but you know what I mean. There was still laughter in her voice, and but only because she couldn't contain how passionate she was about the subject. Well, which makes sense. Prior to this, I think the closest thing to a normal conversation we'd uh, had was whenever we geek out about Valgrenon together. Maybe there really is a trick to holding a conversation with this girl after all. R right. Uh, are we just gonna keep holding hands, or...? Ah, uh, whatever. Not like it matters. How long are you going to keep moping about it? Cheer up! Is there even any wild game on these islands? Well, you win some, you lose some. Sorry. We checked seven of the eight traps so far. None of them had even been triggered. Don't get me wrong, I'm more than happy to go home without having to see a dead animal today, but... I have to admit, I was kind of looking forward to discovering some weird new species or whatever after the conversation we just had. Gerda's disappointment is a lot more understandable to me now. Uh, hey, come on. There's still one trap left, right? And even after this, we can just go fishing or something. Dig for clams. Really wish she would. Uh, really wish she wouldn't be so hard on herself. If only there was something I could do to cheer her up. Nothing but trees, trees, trees as far as the eye can see. Things are looking pretty bleak. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I just saw a cave over there. Now there's a sudden mood swing if I've ever seen one. Jeez, calm down. That's right over there, see? Though, I can't say I really feel like going spelunking right now. Huh? At what? Adventuring? Yeah, no thanks. As much as I can appreciate the sense of wonder and discovery that comes with solving nature's mysteries, I don't think I'm ready to go out and risk my life just yet. Yeah, more of uh, just watching David Attenborough on uh, the Discovery Channel. 
I'm, I'm more of that kind of person. I think terrifying is probably the word I'd use. I sort of just dashed in here without thinking about it, but honestly, uh, this is kind of a sketchy idea. Yeah, caves are fucking dangerous. I mean, everyone knows what kind of animals like to live in caves. GAT! A new dude! Why are you so unfazed? Come on, we gotta run! Because you said there's a bear! So why aren't you getting the hell out of Dodge? Where is it anyway? Where's the bear? Yeah, I'm pretty sure there aren't bears in the tropics. Huh? But you just shouted, shouted bear a minute ago. Of course. Would you scream bomb in an airport too? No, I'm not mad. Let's just go already. Uh huh. Yep. That's one big chicken. Hey, what do you think made these tracks? Three pronged, like a bird's footprint. Uh, but the tip of each talon aren't uh, all that thin, and it looks like there's probably paw pads on each one. That's freaking huge! Looks like you'd fit two of my head in there. No sweat. Oh, that's real big. Well, even if you can't know everything, there is even you can't know everything there is to know about nature, right? Just, uh, just a really big cassowary or, or emu, right? Right? Though I don't think they have the rear, uh, rear fucking talon like that. I think they only have the three toes. Right. Makes sense there'd be a common alley between members of the same family. Alright, time to bring up some childhood trauma. Uh, we rented Jurassic Park when I was like five and fucking watched that when we went camping. We, we, we had a camper, so it wasn't like fucking camping camping, just, you know, out, out by the river. Anyway, uh, that fucking scarred me as a child for like fucking, I couldn't sleep for like a week. Oh my god. Fucking... The original Jurassic Park, if you're, like, five, is fucking terrifying. My god, those velociraptors fucking haunted my dreams for, for fucking weeks. I know, they're pretty huge, huh? Like, seeing the dude get eaten in the beginning, uh, you know, the scene that's funny now of uh, the fucking T-Rex uh, eating the guy when he's on the toilet, uh... Them getting fucking hunted through the, uh, through the kitchen. Oh my god. Child me was fucked up after that. S six feet! Yeah, that's, that, that's a big bird. Sure these aren't, like, fossilized dinosaur footprints or something? Probably not an island like this, you know. Islands in the fucking ocean are usually pretty new, ge uh, geologically speaking. After all, fossils can be, uh, can be more than just old bones or eggs, I recently learned. Uh, when they find big old dino footprints, the news still calls those fossils. <laughs> They, they are? Hey, Makoto? Uh, what's up? You look so perplexed. You can't just say they look fresh and then go silent. You're gonna make me have a panic attack. L listen, Makoto, I think we better get out of here. These are still fresh, and... We're walking through the domain of some undiscovered species of prints like these. 
Does that mean we might bump into it if we keep going down this path? I don't think we'd stand a chance against a six-foot behemoth, dude. Yeah, I know. I'm shaking my boots, too. Let's just hurry up and get the hell out of- Huh? What does it mean? A cryptid? What's that? Oh, right. Unidentified mysterious animals. Wait, you mean like Bigfoot or the Chupacabra? Uh, yeah? Yep, some giant fucking mole. They're down in, like, South America. They find tunnels of, uh, you know, the fucking giant ground sloth uh, before humans migrated down there and fucking ate them all. Well, that's horrifying to think about. You know, after alternative, I really don't want to be running around underground tunnel networks. I think it's actually the one that dug those tunnels in the first place. Yeah, with footprints like that, it's probably not much of a digger. Mm. You could maybe, like, scrape up the ground a little bit, but not tunnel. Uh, oh. You really think so? You, you really think so? Oh, God. I'm not surprised I like how... Uh, I'm not sure I like how enticed I'm getting by that notion. But that's only if we can take it live, dude. We should really go back and come up with a game plan before... Oh, you mean like the, uh... What's it called? Right, the scientific name. Uh, it'd be something like, uh... Takaro Mikoto Nonis or something? That's awful. The scientific name of the gorilla is Gorilla Gorilla Gorilla. Oh, for real? You think that, like, they'd write our names in textbooks and stuff? Maybe scientific journals. Don't know about textbooks. Oh shit! That'd be sick! Wait! Ah! Stop! Stop! You're letting her talk you into... You're letting... Ah, bah, bah, bah. Words, words, words. You're letting her talk you into it, dumbass. But, but like I said, that all depends on whether or not we can capture it alive. So let's head back to the resort for now and... Really? What? Wow, that sounds awful. You think they give us fat paychecks to make appearances too? Yeah, we're, we're like bros. Of course we'd want to spend time together, bro. Me? Famous. A household name for biologists everywhere. Getting fat stacks just for making appearances on TV shows. Might even get invited to, uh, to give guest lectures at universities, too. Well, we can always just run away if it gets sketchy. Yeah, think of it like that. Uh, this is a mystery that deserves to be unraveled for the better for the benefit of mankind, and it's my duty to blow the lid off uh, blow the lid off of it. Curiosity alone never got anyone anywhere. Uh, you've got to act on it too, or you'll never learn what's really out there. Yeah, fortune favors the bold. Only a coward would back down from this now. All right, Makoto, let's do this thing. Okay, let's follow these footprints and see where they lead us. Thankfully, footprints stick around for a while in the mud. 
Looks like they lead deeper into the jungle. Roger that, Captain. Don't don't shame my RP. Oh please. You totally love it and you know it. You bet it was. Now come on, on your signal, Captain. Does this mean we're the red shirt? Roger! Captain, are we even making any progress at all? Hmm. Been at it for quite a while now. We still haven't found a thing. Though, I guess they probably wouldn't be cryptids if they were easy to find. Hmm? Huh? Oh, hey, she's right. I see some light trickling in from outside. Where does it lead, I wonder? Oh, what should we do? Uh, there was a branching path a little ways back. Should we go back and check it out? Yeah, that's true. Right behind you. We're back in the same woods as before. Looks like the tracks end here. Uh, probably because the ground's dried up. Uh, what's up? Uh, what? Spit it out, dude. もしかしたら最後の罠に掛かってるかもしれない。はあ。ここは僕が最後の罠を仕掛けた場所の近くなんだよ。Stop where you are, you damn cryptid! I'm coming to capture you right now! Huh? What the what? What the hell just happened? Something just slammed right into my face! Uh huh? Oh. Don't fuck! My bad. Ah, oh, shit, dude. Accident or no, that was awkward as fuck! Oh, her lips just slammed right into mine, did- How did that happen? She's like a fucking head and a half shorter than you. No, stop thinking about it. Okay, this is how. Right. I gotta... What? I gotta something to help clear the air. Yep. You gotta say something to help clear the air? <laughs> oh god, my voice is cracking. I sound like such a fucking sissy. God, I'm so lame! Huh? Is that what this is? Wait. So, if we're in the trap, then what about the cryptid? No! You gotta be shitting me! So not only did we not catch the beast, but we actually got caught ourselves? Oh, talk about pathetic. Well, let's just get out of this net, shall we? Can you get us down? I uh, gotcha. Well, hurry up and do it then. Oh, right. Well, no worries. We'll just have to get someone else to let us down. Huh? No way! You don't have like a fucking knife on you? Come on, Makoto, step up your game. H -h Hold the goddamn phone! Are you shitting me right now? Are you saying we might be stuck like this for days or weeks or. or... Oh god. Oh god, no! 
I still got so much left I want to do with my life! I can't die out here in this shitty wilderness! Huh? Yeah, we're already past that, Makoto. That is, that is fucking, like, not even in our fucking concerns. W worry about what? Uh, oh, that! Right! Dude, how can you tell me not to worry about it when you're clearly super shaken up about it yourself? Besides, it's not like I can just put it out of my mind either. Speaking of which, aren't we a little close for comfort at the moment? I mean, I get that we're stuck in the net together, so it's kind of unavoidable for us to be rubbing up against each other, uh, but still. After what just happened, it's pretty freaking awkward, you know? And it uh, it's only made worse when you consider the uh, pants debacle we had this morning, in which I actually caught myself thinking Makoto was kind of cute. Heck, even now I can't stop thinking about how soft her lips were. Wait, no! Oh, there's no time to be daydreaming about shit like that. What's that? Well, what would you suggest I do? I mean, you probably could, like, climb up to the top of the net and, like, squeeze your way out because, you know, opposable thumbs and all that. You, you mean we gotta stay like this? Absolutely not. Oh, c come on, dude. Excuse me? Unisex. Nix. Equinox. Yeah, because that's the fastest way to win. Oh, we've been playing this stupid word game for an hour, and I'm running out of ideas, so I'm playing dirty. Oh, and for the record, not a single person has walked by this entire time. Which, I guess, makes sense. Whether this is part of the resort or not, who the hell but Makoto is gonna come walking up the mountain to the jungle? Ugh, how long are we gonna be stuck here, man? Huh? Oh, sorry, what's up? Complex. Ah, oh, come on. Quit whining. Look, Makoto, let's just stop, okay? What? Aren't you getting bored of this? That's very nice of you to say. Huh? No, sorry. Man, Makoto really knows how to say shit that'll make my heart skip a beat sometimes. And it seems totally unintentional on her end, too. Usually, I try not to pay much attention to it, but it's hard not to when we're stuck like this, uh, right in each other's face, uh, when we're stuck right up in each other's faces like this. Uh, seriously, it's nothing. A anyway, let's change the subject. I don't have anything against her, obviously, nor do I think she's doing it just to fuck with me, but it only makes it harder for me to deflect. Are you are you sure there's no way for us to get ourselves out of here? Probably you're gonna need to let me drink your spit to rehydrate. Hey, don't talk to me about short-term memory problems, punk. The sun is slowly rising higher in the sky, though. The canopy cover is protecting us from the harsh sunlight, thankfully, but it can only do so much about the temperature, unfortunately. Yeah, and if we're in the jungle, that makes it nice and muggy. Mmm, lovely. Oh, man, it's hot. Doesn't help that our sweaty bodies are stuck against one another, either. Damn, yeah. Oh, it's awful. Ooh, what a shame. 
Hey, are you sure there's nothing we can do? It's your own trap, though. Why are you smiling about this? Look, let's not play the blame game right now. Ugh. She's got me there. I can complain as much as I want, but at the end of the day, I'm still the one who got us into this situation. Hey, uh, what would you say your chances are of getting rescued? Really? Wait, really? Based Makoto for actually telling uh, someone where you are and what you're going to be doing when you go out camping and into the woods and hiking or whatever. Thank you. Oh my god. Yeah, and they got the fucking Mitsurugi security team, whatever they can fucking send out here. Probably got thermal vision. And? Yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. Huh? Oh, come on, they wouldn't abandon you. Hey, that's not true. I'm sure they don't want anyone going missing at the resort, whether they know them or... Well, yes, but you are also, like, our best friend, which means, proximity-wise, you are also very important. Sounds like you're insinuating something. What, dude? Just say what's on your mind. Yeah. Probably till, like, past dinner. Huh? What do you mean? Damn, you're just gonna have to let me drink your piss, I guess. Not the best scenario, yeah. Certainly not the time to be playing boring ass word games, that's for sure. Why didn't you bring this up sooner? Ah, ah damn it! There's really no way out of this stupid thing! Just, yeah, quit thrashing. Ah, maybe we can get the uh, rope to slip off the branch or make it snap under our weight? We're hanging about four feet off the ground. Oh, that's barely anything. If we fall down, we might not be able to properly brace for impact, so we could get injured. That's well, better than dying of heat stroke, at least. I'll take a broken bone or two over that any day. Oh, come on, damn it, stupid thing! I'm the one who got us into this mess. Now it's my job to get us out. Yeah. No, dude. Which is why I'm trying to get this the fuck out of. Yeah, you're being a spaz. Take a chill pill. この罠からは簡単には逃げられないよ。うん。作った僕が言うんだから間違いない。何の考えもなしに闇雲に動いたって、いたずらに体力を消耗するばかりでなく、熱中症の危険性が高まるだけだよ。Just go full fucking sloth mode and chill out. Just hang. So, wait. Is that the reason you made us stay perfectly still and play word chain? おとなしくしている以外に just go to sleep, take naps and shifts. Oh, I didn't realize. Here I was, panicking and throwing a huge tantrum. I think a pathetic excuse for a survivalist. My bad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You thought this far in advance? You? The girl who normally doesn't listen to a word anyone else says, let alone consider their perspective? I've been nothing but trouble for you today, huh? 
I'm thoughtless. I feel terrible about it. I can't imagine why that would be. Why on earth would a dipshit like me make you feel more secure? Hey, you can't come up with anything? Oh, that kind of hurts, dude. <laughs> Uh, what makes you so sure? Yes, yes, love Nucleus. Okay, one of those at least we're gonna have to agree to disagree about. Something like that. You think that's what it is? I told you, there's nothing special about me. But so are most people, right? That's because you're weird as fuck. Aw, oh, come on. Don't act like you're such a loner. I guess it's true that you're kind of more friends with everyone else through us. Oh, but that doesn't mean people hate you, dude. Even when you're not in class, we talk about you all the time. And I don't mean just Sumika and the gang. <laughs> それは嬉しいね。うん。僕も別にみんなに嫌われてるとは思ってないよ。yeah, it is nice to have someone to go to the arcade to, uh, uh, go to the arcade with, isn't it? Huh? Right, yeah. Yeah, me too. Thanks? Uh, what? Huh? Huh?僕にとってタケルは今言ったような大切な存在なんだけどタケルにとって僕はどうなのかなタケルにとって僕はどうなのかなタケルにとって僕はどうなのかなタケルにとって僕はどうなのかなタケルにとって僕はどうな
which is probably why Makoto is and I just click so much better. And also, please don't take this the wrong way, because I mean it as a compliment, but... Uh, to me, you're not exactly a man or a woman. You're both, or something in between. Like, at the moment, I think the male part of you is winning out, if I'm being honest. But see, this morning, it was definitely the other way around. Yeah, when he tried to dress me in my sleep, but got embarrassed halfway through pulling up my pants. <laughs> if I had only thought of you as a dude, that wouldn't have really phased me. But I don't, which is why I got all flustered. Look, man, it's complicated. And, uh, part of me feels that same way right now. You know, being stuck up here together in close quarters, skin touching skin, it's hard not to be a little flustered about it. And if I really thought of you as a man, I'm not sure I'd like the implications of that. Like, that would mean all those jokes I mean it was making about me uh, the day Mr. Walken arrived actually had a hint of truth to them. You know, implying that I'm into guy on guy stuff, and then you were like, Wow, didn't know you swing that way. Well, it went something along those lines anyway. Uh, was it? I don't remember. What's up? Huh? Well, yeah. I wouldn't really call this a hammock, but sure? You could say that, yeah. I mean, I already admitted that I thought of thought it was cute how you bashful you got about seeing my you know what this morning. And my heart skipped more than a few beats when we accidentally kissed earlier. Plus, like, when I think back on how earnest you got when we were talking about adventure and mysteries and the curiosity of man earlier, your passion was so obvious and so striking, you were practically glowing with it. I felt genuinely en uh, enchanted by you. Perhaps because there's nothing in the world that means quite as much to me. It's not often you get to gush endlessly about your life's calling to someone else either. Uh, it's got to be something you feel really strongly about, and even then, it takes a significant amount of trust in the person you're talking to to open up like that. Because God forbid you open up to a relative stranger and they laugh at you for caring so much about the things that literally define your identity, right? Which is why people don't typically open up that easily, because wearing your heart on your sleeve leaves it vulnerable. Yeah, that's exactly what Makoto did for me. And that's not even mentioning the fact that I can count the numbers of times we've had a coherent conversation on one hand. If it doesn't tell you, if that doesn't tell you how hard she was trying to bear her soul before me, I don't know what will. Like, we've obviously managed to communicate on the same wavelength before, just when fooling around and stuff. But this is the first time she's been able to naked. Uh, this, she's been this nakedly honest with me. And I doubt she'd ever be able to do that with anyone in the world but me. That's something for me to be proud of, I'd say. And it's only natural to feel enchant enchanted when you get uh, to see a glimpse of just how deep someone's passion goes. So I think I'm in awe. Uh, I, bah, 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 words, words, words. So I think the awe I'm feeling right now is pretty much to be expected. I certainly don't feel awkward or embarrassed, if that's what she's asking. More than anything... I feel extremely blessed to have had a chance to meet someone like her. <laughs> yeah, get some! Good move. <laughs> Actions speak louder than words, Makoto. Uh, for the record... I really do think of you as a woman. Sorry. 
there was just something I had to verify for myself. Namely, these strange emotions I've been harboring for Makoto all day. I figured that if I could kiss you and it felt right, then maybe that would mean I have a crush on you. Well, because if I really only liked you as a friend and not as a woman, it would just feel wrong, you know? Yeah. Well, not, not really the first one, but... Well, I had a pretty strong hunch that you wouldn't have a problem with it. But, yeah, it was pretty presumptuous, I'll admit. I just wanted to... Huh? Sure thing. As I wrap my arms around Makoto's tiny frame, I can feel her breath against my nose. It tickles a little bit. But she does smell good. It must be her shampoo or something. I couldn't smell it until her face was right under, right up against my own. If there was any remaining doubt in my mind as to her femininity, uh, it's gone out the window now. Makoto looks me straight in the eye, her own eyes watering. I take that as a signal. And when our lips touch again, I can feel her body quiver. Her lips are so unbelievably soft. So, uh, do you believe me now? You wanted to know whether or not I think of you as a woman, right? Well, do you believe me now? Good. Hmm? Oh, I just thought, thought I felt a weird bulge in your pants just now. Yeah, there it is. What the heck is this thing? It's so hard. M Makoto? Of course you had a knife. Huh? Come again? God damn it, Makoto. Would have been nice for you to realize that an hour ago. Sheesh. Great. So this whole time, I've been stressing myself out over nothing. Nah, I get it. It's natural to panic and forget things in these situations. Hurry up and get this the hell out of this thing. Hmm? Uh, what's wrong? What? You, you sure you can't get it to it? Team effort here, come on. Ah, damn it. I never thought we were finally going to get out of the stupid net. I gotta be kidding me. Uh, pardon? Uh, Alright, uh, it's in the left one, you said? My left or your left? Hmm, yeah, looks like I can probably get at it. Grope, grope. Is this it? Yeah, okay. <laughs> hey, stop moaning like that! This is awkward enough as it is. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try again, okay? Russell, Russell. Grope, grope. Fumble, fumble. <laughs> Almost there. There! Got it! Now, now, just don't drop it. Now, let's get the hell out of here, shall we? Huh? Wait, wait, what are you... Hey! Oh, 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 oh. 
Hey, Makoto, you won't. Mmm, booba. Okay. What? Wha wha Sorry, didn't mean to. Ah, uh, no, I can't just play the. It was an accident card now. Ah, uh, that'd be the coward's way out. After all that just happened up there, I can't just be like, well, uh, time to go home now. That'd be freaking pathetic. And if it weren't for us getting stuck up there, I never would have realized how I truly feel. I can't just slink off now and pretend like it never happened. Uh, hey, Makoto, can I kiss you? I want to look at her face, and the words just slipped right out of my mouth. Huh? Stop. But why? Oh, just, just gotta confirm. Oh, uh, that was all you meant? God, you scared me. Pfft, of course you didn't even realize. But I guess this is Makoto we're talking about. And that's the girl I fell for, I suppose. Uh, Makoto? Smooch. Oh, what's wrong? Are you are you crying? You little 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 baby bitch. You know, gonna gonna cry? Not sure how I should interpret that. As soon as she realizes what I said, she starts vigorously rubbing her eyes. Uh, okay. There, there's no line there. Let's just roll with it. In this moment, as I watch Makoto shedding tears of joy after a single kiss, I couldn't be more certain that's how she, uh, that she truly is the one for me. Makoto? And off comes the helmet. Amazing. Snap back to reality. And yeah, on the way back, I bumped in Makoto down on the beach. Uh, she said she just got back from setting up a bunch of animal traps up in the mountain, as in the mountain we saw from the airplane when we flew in. I don't know. It's like a weird hobby of hers. You could ask her yourself, but I did get a satisfy satisfactory answer. Anyway, she basically told me that uh, we were both going to go check him out the next day, leaving me no room to argue. So we just shrugged it off, though. We said our goodbyes and went back to our respective cabanas for the night. <laughs> yes, yes, we slept in the machine, but we did, didn't dream. Yeah, the doors have an automated locking mechanism, so I wasn't too worried about her breaking in and kidnapping me or whatever. Figured I could just pretend I slept through it uh, when she came knocking the next morning. <laughs> Mm, sorry. Uh, that much I don't remember. Yeah, she climbed in through the window like a fucking burglar. Yeah, that's putting it lightly. She broke in and literally shook me out of bed. And all because I made one stupid rookie-ass mistake. In my own simulated fantasy, no less. And it shut the window before going to sleep like an idiot. That's how Makoto got in. Like a fucking cat. ある意味においてはそれも物語進行上のご都合主義ではありますねちなみに現実のお部屋はそのようなことはありませんのでご安心くださいシュアバタアモチーフはさまざまなセンサーの働きによって部屋に不在の場合や就寝中は自動でロック
罠に何もかかっていなかったのはこれも物語上の都合というやつかしらおそらくは Yeah, nothing romantic like、uh, gutting a fucking deer and lugging its carcass back down the mountain. Actually, now that you mention it, that would make to、uh, that would totally make sense. Because she and I accidentally walked right into one of those traps. Well, there was a bunch of like underground passageways and caverns in that area. We decided to go into one. And we found these weird animal footprints in there. I would have said it was probably from some sort of four legged creature, no less than six feet tall. So we all got excited, thinking we'd just discovered some new cryptid or whatever. But right after that, I accidentally set off one of the traps.、Uh, one of those ones where it's like you step on a net laid out on the ground and it wraps up around you and suspends you in the air like a hammock. So, Connie, oh, that is this guy? Yeah, that's right. And then,、uh, well, this is where my memories start getting really hazy. I think Makoto pulled out a knife and cut the net to free us, but I'm not 100% though. Yeah, I guess not. I'm trying to, but I'm sort of drawing a blank. Can't even imagine what might have logically followed given Makoto's completely unpredictable nature. Don't know why this one's just like all swirls like this. The hell? And then, and then they fucky wucky. They, they fucking, they fucking in the jungle!、Uh, flashback, look, I'm doing something, but what? Was that tingles up in the trap? We're only about trying to get free? No, it couldn't be that. Wait, oh god, don't tell me. Uh huh, nope, nope, uh huh, no way. Even was it simulation, she, she and I would never do something like that. Oh god, come on, Tucker, what the hell are you thinking? It's probably just my brain trying to grasp my straws to fill in the gaps in my memory. Yeah, that's gotta be it. I mean, I guess it's pretty normal for a guy my age to have dreams, but God, no, stop it! God, am I really that sexually frustrated? What even is this?、Uh, sorry, that's all I can remember. I can explain this. Like an MMO, yep, living in it, uh huh, uh huh, go back real life, yep, woo hoo, we've read this like 20 times.、Uh, you've, you've, all, you've all read it. We, we don't need to reread it again. It's, it's all the same. Uh, simulator can have, yep, uh huh, real world, gaha, gotcha. How would you in interact? Yep, yep, screw around, friend group, uh huh. It, it would mess with you if you actually did start dating, yep, delusions, uh huh. Uh, what, what is reality? What is fiction? That's my take on it. Cool. Go talk to RD, yep. What's up, Sauber? Trying to steal my fucking microwave again? You bitch. Oh god. Yep, uh huh, fuck you. Mashing that inner button, let's go! Get through all this! Yeah, uh huh, cool. Auto skip, auto skip, go, go, go! Send us out to pick up groceries. Do it, do it, I dare you. There we go. Yep, this place is packed. Guess my calculations were way off. I assumed the arcade would be Ghost Town, what with everyone at home getting ready for New Year's Eve and all, but nope. Everyone wants to get in one last game. Everyone wants to get that one last game in, which makes sense. Especially since there's a limited time end of year promotional event going on right now in Valgrin On. Really? And I see the new event boss is thoroughly wiping the floor with these players. He's just a cartoony motherfucker running around with a mochi hammer, but he can pound your ass in two seconds flat. From what I've heard, he's literally impossible to beat solo, and even in Battle Royale mode, it's quite the challenge. And apparently, that brutal difficulty, in tandem with the goofy ass face, has made a lot of players develop a grudge against him, which is probably why the arcade is so packed. Anyway, I put my card in, so my name is on the list, and now I've got to wait around until it's my turn to play. Luckily, I have a cell phone to keep me busy at times like these. I can play a game while I wait if I want to. Yeah, play fucking Snake. I wonder if this thing has got any games pre installed. Hmm? Oh, hey, Makoto. You here to get your Valgren on fix, too? Yeah, I guess we all had the same idea. Though, uh, we were being smart. I thought we were being smart coming in on New Year's Eve, and, but so did everyone else. Yeah, but I'm not up for another four rounds. 
Wait, for real? <laughs> oh, guess it's finally time to see once and for all who's, who the better gamer is. I ain't pulling any punches, you know. Since we thought about uh, getting fucking trapped in the woods, you know, for no reason. Oh, it's not mine. I'm just borrowing it from Tsukiyomi san. Uh, cause see, we had an attempted robbery at the house when everyone was gone, when everyone was away. Apparently, the dude slipped right out my front door without stealing a damn thing, though. Uh, not that tight, apparently, if he was able to make it in. Is there? I suppose that's one way of looking at it. Yeah, but whatever it was, uh, they weren't able to get it, thanks to our security team. They're getting a nice New Year bonus. Though they weren't able to catch the perp, unfortunately, which is why they wanted me to carry around a cell phone, just in case. Yep. Ah, oh, but dude, these things are pretty sweet. I've been having fun just fiddling around in the menus. Yeah, why do you ask? Yeah, Kazumi was taking a nap. Sumika is probably going to hibernate through winter, and Yuhi and Maya went back to the main estate for a while. They'll be back later tonight, though. Crazy, right? That massive mansion is basically just a vacation condo to them. Nah, they got bigger fish to fry. Nope. They're gonna go back again tomorrow afternoon and spend a few days with them, though. Yeah, they'll spend the New Year's Eve with us and then spend the actual day with them. Makes sense, makes sense. I thought it was kind of weird, too, but they told me they already talked it over with them. Hmm? You know, I kind of stopped wondering about that myself at some point. I always felt like if I would ever find out the answer, all this would come to an end. Though, I have no grounds for that assumption. But even uh, that was only the beginning, really. Nowadays, I can't imagine my life without them. Oh, please don't take Yuka Sensei's crackpot theory as gospel. But on a different note, I'm a little surprised you actually got get to spend New Year's at home in Japan this year. But where were you last time? Uh, last, where were you this time last year again? I feel like I remember her talking about how she watched the first sunrise of the year in some foreign country. Ew, gross. And gonna do another quick little little cut. All right, I'm back. And where's your dad? Really? Yeah, all you can really do is stay on the lamb. Sure. Hmm? Sure, I don't mind. Probably a safe idea. Oh, where's my mic? That's why it sounded weird in my, uh, in my own headphones. My mic was facing down at my desk. Weird. Uh, probably a safe idea. Unless your dad was a burglar who tried to break in yesterday, that is. <laughs> Not saying he was trying to steal anything. I just meant... What if he was planning for this exact scenario, so he could sneak in and snatch you away today? Ah, oh, come on. Don't act all rattled. You know I'm joking. Even though it happened in a different timeline. No, dude, it was a joke. Now, there's no way your dad could possibly... For real? Yeah, 
Yeah, I might just abandon us on a fucking tuna trawler. Why would he ever do that? How nice of your dad. Well, it wouldn't be fun for me. Count me out. <sighs> yeah, somehow. Better not come to that. Huh? Uh, well, well, sure. Uh, as long as no one tries to kidnap us. Uh, don't worry about it. Just making sure anyone who might be listening could hear. Certainly didn't say it was for your. Certainly didn't say it for your benefit. Oh, let's go play Tekken or something. Surely someday she'll realize that I'm not the weird one here, right? Probably shouldn't count on it. Well, whatever. Huh? And we specifically said not to get kidnapped. Fuck you, Chuck. Not this time. Fortunately. Takuru would never skip out of the chance to play a round of Valgrenon. Yeah. Yep, yep, uh huh, uh huh. All, all secret agents. Fuck off, Chuck. Sure. reported a kidnapping, my guy. Yeah. Everyone just ignore it. Move on. Oh god. Because someone called to complain about how worried they were. And, and why are you here, uh, Tsukiji? <laughs> well, the more the merrier. It doesn't matter. Yep, go team. Wild, mild, blue, whatever this place is called. Yep, yep, uh -huh. do, do the thing, do the thing. Oh my god, look how many points Makoto is scoring. Because there's totally a way to tell. To see who, who has the most points for the end when, uh, you know... Drum Lucky Phantom! Blasting off again. Put put some clothes on. And... Keep going, keep going, keep going. You know, just, just, just get to the end. Get to the end. Get to the end, we've seen this. We've seen this before. Makoto? What are you doing? You? Why are you wearing a bikini in our room? Would that even be considered a bikini? Or would it be like... I don't know my official swimsuit classifications of what that would be. Oh, what's wrong? Why are you in my bedroom wearing a swimsuit? And you just went along with it, huh? First place? In what? Wait. Oh, God! Totally forgot about the fee card thing! I meant to tell them the deal was off! We fucking booking it? Why? 
out of my own home? Uh, why? I mean, do you wanna? Dude, that's way worse than your average eavesdropper. Of course not! Oh, Makoto. Oh, you're a good friend. Or at least you're the only friend I have with any sense of common decency. Uh, and go where? Yeah, hang on. I'm not going on any raft adventure. But I agree that we need to get out of here. We'll talk about what comes next later. Yeah. Pardon? Makoto, I am not fucking you on a rubber dinghy in the ocean. Whoa, back up. That's even like... Okay, maybe it's a little more romantic than fucking you in a dirty maintenance hangar. But... No. Why are we trying to escape exactly? I take it back. You're more insane than any of them. If I go with you now, they might never find my body. Sorry, I think I'm gonna have to bow it. Huh? What happened? God, that's really annoying. Turn that off. Yeah, exactly. God, give her some privacy. I don't know. Why? That's weird. You'll learn about it when you're older. Mm-hmm. そうは言うけど、あんたたちこのまま夜と白金見逃してもいいわけ。Yes。え?2人が誰に邪魔されることもなく、フンズホムレツ体力の続く限り一掃しんじゃってもいいんだ。I mean, they don't really have any right to stop us. Solid core. ゴンズホグレッツ。うん、いいん。いや、安田さんは知らなくていいからね。ヒアマフス、ヒアマフス。ええ、タイ。あ、that's a at least this is actually different from the other ends compared to all the other ones. Oh, she knows what she's doing. Now that's the Makoto I know. Always waited for things to get dicey before recklessly charging ahead. Wait! Hey! Let me go! Hey, watch it! Yeah! Gotta fucking dislocate both his shoulders. Yeah! 
んたたちもっと気合い入れなさいそうねいやーいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやそれで、うどん、私が、あかねちゃんを引っ張って、こしのあたりに、こう、手を回して。くっぴん、ウィーディ。つけじさん。もう、一体何なのよ、これ。えー、とにかく、よろよ、いかせちゃダメよ。Oh God, what if they dislocate his fucking hip? Oh! そうね。よ、よ、よ、よ、よ。いやいやいやいやいやうーんあり余る体力かきっと激しいんだろうなミサエさん煩悩は顔に出すぎていや leave, leave my code all out いや最近欲求不満でね誰かさんのせいであらこのところ楽しい出来事ばかりだった Man, this is, this is going. ミサエさんの欲求が満たされることはきっとないわ There we go. お,お二人はまさか師匠師匠と呼ばせてくださいああ、なななな、なな、なな、なな、なな、なな、なな、なな、なな、なな、なな、なな、なな、なな、なな、なな、なな、なな、なな、なな、なな、なな、なな、なな、なな、なな、なな、なな、なな、なな、なな、なな、なな、なな、な Sure, man, if you say so. Can't, can't account for taste. Don't, don't worry, Makoto. You'll surely, I mean, Makoto?、Uh, Marimo, you'll surely find someone this year. Mm hmm, mm hmm. This, this sure is an ED. That sure is going. That won't end anytime soon because it won't let me skip it for whatever reason. And I don't even know what landmass that is. Is it like the. the like the. the strait between Hokkaido and, uh. Fuck. Fuck which island? Is it Kyushu? Honshu? Whatever. The, the main one. The main islands. I can't remember. I don't need to know my geography. But anyway, we did it. We did it. One and done. One episode. We managed to get all the way through Makoto's. And、uh, who's it going to be next time? Will it be? Who will it be? Ba da ba ba da ba. Oh, 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 oh. Let's go! Cosme, it is. Nice. Lucky. Lucky. Clap for me. Clap for me. All right, everyone. You saw it there. Next time, we'll be coming back for Cosmic's Route. Hope to see you guys all there. Later.